the human toll of counterfeiting in the supply chain is catastrophic. We are not talking about counterfeit Rolex here. We're talking about a situation where farmers buy fake seeds and then three months down the line, they find out that the crop has failed. People are taking insulin and in fact, they're getting water and they enter into diabetic shock. Children have died because somebody has administered antifreeze to stabilize the medicine. I'm not sure there's any variety of terrorism that is more tragic than this issue of counterfeit substandard knockoff products. The problem of counterfeiting is a subset of a broader set of supply chain problems around trust. When you go to the market and you pick up a product, as a consumer you're completely blind as to what you're getting. And governments are supposed to regulate these spaces and make them safe for everyone, but governments are heavily limited and heavily constrained. There are places in the world where walking into a pharmacy and picking up a flu shot could be as dangerous as playing Russian roulette. In one estimate in Nigeria, Early in the 2000s, 80% of medicines tested failed quality assurance. So in those days, you had four in five chances of getting the wrong thing. Two years ago, a young guy came in. He has had two sessions of anti-malarials he bought by himself. Nothing prepared me for what I was going to see. His kidneys were beginning to show signs of early failure. And for a young guy of 17, he died whilst waiting for dialysis. It's one of the saddest, most harrowing experience of what a fake drug could do. In total, supply chain crime may exceed a trillion dollars worldwide. Counterfeiting alone is estimated to be a $500 billion plus problem. Empedigree solution is looking at counterfeit scenario from a more proactive point. We thought that if we could link every product with a unique identification marker, such that somebody can use a mobile phone to make a simple query and find out if they are buying an original product, using that unique marker as the reference, then we will be able to assure the consumer that they are buying an original product. That number would have to be hidden behind a panel that can be easily scratched off. One, six, two, four. Uh -huh. This code is one-time use, it's unique, seven. and it cannot be guessed in advance. And then they will send it by text to a toll-free number. It goes into the system, and then the system will then cross-check it with all the unique numbers that are for that particular product brand. And then it will return a response, either a positive response or a negative response. Okay, it has come. This is an original product. Okay, it has. Marketed by Jenith Pharmaceutical no, Limited. In very practical terms, it means therefore that the consumer in the market, holding the product in their hand with a mobile phone for free, can validate, which now makes this product very likely to be safe and of the right quality. MPEG introduces technology that enables an ecosystem to form around a core where that core is transparency and accountability. Distributors will use the system to improve the traceability of their distribution process. And you have retailers who use this to reassure themselves of the confidence of what they are getting from the supplier. And you have government who use our software to mount surveillance in order to concentrate their resources much more effectively. From the regulatory standpoint, now you have a tool that actually collects that data it enhances their ability to police the market. It enhances their ability to have market visibility. We are fully active in Ghana, Nigeria, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Egypt, India. It's not about amassing billions of dollars. It's rather about amassing billions of people trusting the products that they buy as well as providing complete visibility of the supply chain in ways that have never been thought of before.
we used to get substandard seeds and now we are getting the genuine seeds. Knowledge is power. Where the knowledge allows or enhances trust, then it means that it enhances a more peaceful society and a more um, aspirational society. Technology is a very important part of how we're going to improve trust. If we had a world in which trust is on the upswing, as opposed to steeply downhill, I believe that it would be a very, very radically different world.